DIY guy here with my handy helper Max. Today we're going to be replacing some outdated electrical outlets in his room. The supplies needed for this project are a pair of needle nose pliers, a flat headed screwdriver, a 20 amp tamper resistant outlet, a flashlight, and two child protective covers if needed. Now the easiest way to tell that these outlets are outdated is that they don't have the ground plug in them and that is a no-no. So the first first thing we got to do before we get started is cut the power off. Follow me. We've identified what breaker we need to throw. Alright, we're going to start by taking the cover off. You never know what you're going to find under these things sometimes. Especially the older ones. Alright, you can see after the cover, there's two screws right here we still need to unscrew. And then we can pull out the housing. Alright, this just pulls out as far as the wires will allow it, actually. And then we've got two screws on each side of the receptacle here, holding our hot and our negative wiring. So what we're going to do, we're going to loosen these up and take the bend the wiring out around it and take it off. Let's unscrew these here. And this wire will, should pull out. This is where the needle nose comes in handy. Alright, now we got that that old one out. That was bad. Very bad. Definitely outdated. At least 20 years. Now we're just going to get these wires nice and straight here. We've got our new outlet right here. What we're going to do is connect the hot end to the silver screws and the negative end is going to go in here to the gold screws. Now you, you, you'll notice you also have a ground ground screw right here and that's in case you get the typically new wiring, new house, new wiring a new house will have a third wire coming out of here and it's just a ground wire but in this case we don't have that so it is totally okay just connecting it to either end. We make sure these are all screwed out so we can wrap each wire around them. What I'm going to do here is bend this just a little bit, kind of like kind of a little loop that'll go around the screw. What we're going to do is hook that right around that screw. And with your screwdriver, I'm just gonna make sure that's nice and tight. Screw that in good. And now we'll connect the other side. Okay, we got that around here. Tighten this end up. Good and tight, and definitely making contact with the screws because that's what gives it the power. And now we can place this back in the wall here. Line up our screws with the housing. And now we're going to tighten these screws up right here. up against the wall. Looks like we're pretty good. Now all we have to do is put the faceplate back on. Tighten it back up. 
Now it's time to go turn back on the breaker, see if we did something right. Power back on. Alright, it's the moment of truth. We're going to plug it back in. And let there be light. Alright, it worked. Okay, now we're still going to put these child protective uh, covers over it. Even though we have a tamper resistant outlet, I would suggest putting these on there just in case. You never know what they'll figure out how to do. And that's that.